Hi everyone, my name is Phil and welcome to Phil Does 3D. I'm a multimedia and a 3D artist and I stream live on Twitch on Mondays and Tuesdays at 5 p.m. Pacific time in the United States. That's midday if you're in Australia or 1 or 2 a.m. if you're in the UK. I hope you guys and girls are well. Kamal, it's good to see you, buddy. Hello to you as well. And Tamana, hi to you. And Sniper Girl, hi to you. And Smurfberry Barbecue, I think. No? <laughs> no, not yet. Uh, Sniper Girl says she's got 4.6 thousand points left before she makes me play that horrible game. And there is Smurfberry there. <laughs> it's good to see you guys. Remember, if you miss the live streams, guys, you can always catch up by clicking the videos tab on my Twitch channel or going to my YouTube channel forward slash Phil does 3D. I upload my previous streams to YouTube, but YouTube is behind Twitch. So if you want the latest streams, go to my Twitch channel. And if you're watching me on YouTube, you'll find a link to my Twitch channel in the description below the video you're watching on YouTube. Uh, remember to, if you want to join the Phil does 3D Discord server, go to the About Me section on my Twitch channel and look for a blue graphic that says join the Discord. It goes, Snowfairy says. Kamal says the sniper girl, fine. Yeah, it's good to see you, Kamal. Hope you've been well. So I'm just going to have some coffee and then we'll get stuck into it, I guess. So I'm going to be working on an asset for a game called The House in the Hollow. You can wishlist that now on Steam. Again, for a link to the Steam store page, go to the About Me section on my Twitch channel or if you're on YouTube watching me, look in the description below this video for a link to the Steam store page. Um, we've got a couple of things left to do and then we can jump into Unreal. I don't know if we're going to get into Unreal today. We'll see how we go. But I'm working on a church brew and I'm retexturing it. So we're going to be doing that today. And we need to create some windows for the uh, Art Nouveau hallway. So that's the plan anyway. So let's jump into Max. So we're going to start with the church ruin. We've already done a couple of them. Now we were having problems with this piece. I managed to fix that by uh, using retopology inside of Max. So instead of using the quantify mesh, which is what we'd usually use, I used the retopology tool and that fixed that issue. Actually, it wasn't that piece, it was this piece. So yeah. So what have I got left to do? So I've done that one, I've done that one. Oh, I can look here, it'll tell me which ones I've done. So I've done that one. And I've done that one. And I've done that one. And that one. So just these two pieces left by the look of it. So let's uh, look at this piece here. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm retexturing these asset pieces. Now these were not created by me. These were done by another 3D artist, uh, another guy, and I'm retexturing it. Not because he did a bad job with the texturing. Pardon me. Too much Coca-Cola. Not that he did a bad job with the texturing, um, just that it's too clean. Way, 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 way too clean for a ruin. <laughs> it should not be that clean. So what we're going to start by doing is doing a clone and making a version that's uh, called underscore HR for high res. And I'm just going to rename this one underscore LR for low res so we don't get confused. And let's hide the low res one. And we're going to try the quantify mesh first. We'll see how we go with that. We're going to go down to two levels. It seems fine. Um, then what? And then I do a tur turbo smooth. Okay, we can collapse the stack. Uh, Sniper Girl says it's going to be 64 degrees, 18 degrees Celsius tomorrow. Can't freaking wow, 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 a whole 18 degrees. I wish it was 18 degrees here. It's really humid. But I don't know if you guys know, but there've been really bad floods happening on the Australian coast, not where I live, but up from where I live, a long way away, like a thousand miles away. Um, 
And but all that humidity has sort of come down to where I live here in Melbourne at the bottom of Australia, so it's really sticky and horrible. <laughs> so I wish it was 18 degrees, half your luck, sniper girl. I'd like if it was like two degrees, that would be better. Uh, sniper girl says, I like snow for the sake of pictures, and after that, it can go bye bye. <laughs> I love snow. I want to live where it snows all the time. But I live in Australia, so I can't. Okay, let's uh, export this as the high res version. And where are we going to put it? We are putting it church exports, I guess. And let's export the low-res version. Oh man, Philip made a boo-boo. When Philip did a uh, duplicate a clone, let me see if I can go back. Uh, yeah, when, when Philip did a, uh, the clone of the mesh, he did, he did an instance and not a copy, which I should have realized because you, you know in Max, because these are highlighted in bold, which means it's an instance, not a copy. So if you ever, and I should have noticed that and I didn't. So bad, Philip. So I'm going to go back. Um, I have to delete this because Max think it is going to treat it as an instance and not a copy. We'll do that again. So clone, not as an instance, but as a copy. And you see, it's not bolded anymore. That's how we know it's. Uh, Correct. Rename that to high res. Hide the low res. Modify the mesh again. And do a turbo smooth. Okay, now we should be good. Just gonna make that an edit falling. Just have it. Let's export it. And overwrite the old one. Let's go back to the low res and export that. Copy that name. Bill's a bit tired. He was up till like four in the morning. And also I had a problem, a programming issue that I had to work out. Visual Studio, you gotta love Visual Studio. And let's jump into Painter and Creating Project. Uh, that was E, I believe. Yeah, Ruin Church E. Let us load the high res model. Church E, high res. Uh, Snappy Girl says, yeah, spring might actually be here where I am. Uh, well, global warming, things are supposed to be getting warmer all the time, quicker. Like I heard that the flowers and stuff are blooming in uh, the UK earlier and earlier every year now because of global warming. So, not good. Well, I guess if you really like hot weather it might be, but not for everyone else. Uh, Snappy Girl says, don't you mean you live in hell? I do. Yes, I do live in hell. You've seen the pictures. You've seen those pictures. It's red, it's hot, it's dusty, it's horrible. Uh, but that's not everywhere. I have to I have to point out that picture I posted, that's the interior of the country, not the coastline where I live, so. I don't walk out my front door and see expanses of red dirt and dust storms and, and stuff like that. Mind you, having said that, where I live here in Melbourne, we do occasionally get big dust storms, not like maybe once every 10 years big dust storms that will blow in from the interior of the country and make everything red. And of course, during bushfires, because we have bad bushfires in Australia because it is so hot, uh, that tends to turn the sky like a red color. It's really freaking. Um, Smurf says, Phil lives on Mars. That looks like Mars, doesn't it? Uh, Smurf says, we've never actually seen him outside. No, Phil doesn't go outside. <laughs> 
Okay, no, I need to find that smart material we created for the church, so I'm just going to do a filter on my. And I think I put my in front of it, I hope so. My Ruined Church, there we go. And this is just a smart material I created to texture these pieces up relatively quickly. We could have to go through and do color, color selection on them though. So. so we want to the church arches. Color selection, let's get rid of those, let's pick, oh, now I, I haven't, uh, what I need to do here is, I need to bake out, get rid of the high res, use the low res and only bake out the ID map uh, to vertex color. And let's try that again, the arches are green. Uh, the side tiles, which I don't think we actually have any on this piece. No. Uh, the stone and the columns. We want the columns. I'm just gonna. Ch <laughs> I'm just gonna check if um. I don't think I have any of them. Let's let's select the columns. Yeah, no, that's all we have for this one. Okay, we should be good. Columns, arches, we don't have sides, and the ruined church is on everything, I believe. Yeah. Okay, let's rename this material so we know what it is, and it's Church E. Well, let's export them. We're in church. I, th <laughs> I better check where I'm exporting these textures to, <laughs> which folder I'm putting them in. Mm. Are they going in the exports folder? No. Are they going in the textures folder? Yes. Okay. So we need to put them in the textures folder. We've got one, two, three in there already. And export. Save the project. Ruin church E. And jump back into Max. Um, Sniper Girl says to Smurf here, yeah, Cherry probably he's he probably is in a space habitat on Mars. I mean, we've never actually seen outside <laughs> with no green screen. <laughs> That's right, you haven't, have you? You've never seen. Well, maybe I should do a video walkthrough of where I live. Post it on Discord or something. Maybe. I don't know how how, how uh, dangerous that is at the moment. Posting stuff as to might give away my location. But uh, he, she says maybe that's the reason for the god awful alarm when he gets packages that warns him that someone is at the airlock. Actually, you, you guys are lucky because I had a package delivered today and it was just before my stream went live, like five minutes before the stream was due to go live. Uh, so you're lucky you didn't hear that buzzer going off again today. Oh, I was going to warn you if it hadn't arrived before I started the stream. Because so. I know how loud that buzzer is and it's really close to where I am sitting, so. <sighs> Kamal says, Do an Android lost all right? Uh, yeah, Android lost. He um, had his Discord account hacked, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, he was in the stream yesterday. He's, he's, he's good. 
he's uh, contacted Discord to try and get his account back. So just be careful on Discord again. I warned you guys yesterday, I'm going to warn you guys again today. Don't click links that, from strangers in Discord, ever. <laughs> just don't do it. Because uh, somebody had hacked uh, Android Lust's account. And I don't think they'd hacked it through a link click. No, maybe. It was some man in the middle thing, because Euro was talking about it yesterday. But still, don't click uh, strangers' links in Discord. It's not wise. Don't click links in email either if you don't know who they are and where they're coming from. So yeah, somebody had hacked his account and then they were sending out messages to people in his contact lists with links, click, clickable links, which you shouldn't, you know, don't click. But he's good and he's trying to get his account back on Discord. Long story short. Show the birds, Mercury said. What birds? Um, Sniper Girl. He didn't say no. Sniper Girl says he didn't say no. Did you see the video I posted? Did I see the video you posted? Oh, uh, this, oh no, I, I haven't actually checked that out yet. Discord security is worse than you know. <laughs> Recommend watching this. No, I'll check that out after the stream. I th you posted it yesterday, didn't you? During the stream, I remember. I forgot about it. Oh, she's posted something else as well. She posted uh, something about a guy that, a person that does hard surface work. So check that out too. Euro posted uh, also in the Discord, in the general chat, the public roadmap for 3D Studio Max 2023, which is due to be released this month at some stage from Autodesk. Kamal says, that's good. I hope he may recover. I'm sure he'll be fine. Like I said, it was, I think it was, it was just his Discord account. That's my phone going off, sorry. It was just his Discord account that got hacked, so. Uh, and make sure you turn two-factor authentication on as well for any of the accounts you might be using if it's available. It just adds an extra level of security. Um, Smurf says, don't you have cool birds near you? Oh yeah, you, you mean that chirping you here? Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, we've got our family of crows. There's this really, really tall one that we're never going to get work done. There's this really, really tall tree. It's, it's, I don't think it's a eucalyptus tree. Um, probably about 100 metres or so from where I live, near the train station. I mean, it's, it's the tallest tree for like miles and miles around here. It's huge and old. And there's a family of crows that live in that. There's about, I think there's about six of them. And they nest in it, it well, they live in it permanently and they nest in it constantly. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Australian crows, but they're huge birds. They're like, some of them can, are almost as big as your American eagles. They're, they're huge and they're black um, and they're very intelligent. And they're, they're nice birds, like, you know, we have magpies as well, which are nice birds too, but they tend to attack you when they're nesting, um, but crows don't. So yes, I do have those near, but by, we actually have parrots as well. Like, yeah, there are parrot, parrots and stuff, wild parrots around here. Um, yes, we do have wild parakeets, as Mercury says. Yep, we certainly do. And they're beautiful birds. Lovely. Whole, Australia's got a lot of parakeet species. We do have quite a few actual um, interesting species of birds, particularly parakeets. Cockatoos, parakeets are all part of the same family. Yep. Um, so, sorry, Snappy Girl says you should. It's scary how easy it is to get files to take over a Discord. Yeah, I know. It is. You've got to be really careful on Discord, guys. You must, must, must be careful. Um, I hope Discord are trying to do something about it because it's really not good. One, two, three, four. Actually, this one. I don't think... One of these I must not have saved out because I've only got four textures in the folder. So I did Church A, I did Church C, I did Church D and Church, Church E. So I did A, D, and B. I haven't done B, looks like. I don't think I saved out the textures for Church B. No, Church A, Church C, Church D and Church E. I forgot to do B. Now that, because that's the one I was having issues with, that's right. Uh, so I worked on that after the stream to work out what was going on. So we need to uh, save out Church B. Let's do that. I've already done the high res, we just need to do the texture. And the high 
high res. We saved our project, but we'll do it again just to be on the safe side, create a new one. And we want church B. Church B high res. Should all be good. Uh, Kamal says, hey Phil, I like Substance's working space instead of uh, its IRA engine. Do you have any suggestions? I'm not sure what you mean, Kamal. What do you mean? What do you mean by working space instead of IRA engine? I'm not, not quite sure what you mean. Uh, let's bake this out again. Just the ID map with the low res. And change the name. And throw down our smart material. Now Sniper Girl says, yeah, what Phil said, don't click on a link unless you know it's safe. You can, it can really mess you up on Discord and also offline too. And remember too, just because um, they get hold of your Discord server account, then they, then they use that account to try and get into your other accounts. So like they'll like particularly Google, say if they get into a Google account, because you know how you can authenticate with Facebook and Twitter and a whole heap of websites using your one Google login. So if they get your Google account, then they can get your Facebook account. They can get, you know, anything that you log in with through Google account. Uh, and now I'm not sure with Discord what the story there is, but still it's not good. And yeah, then they try and get into your other account. So two factor authentication, don't click on links. Install a password manager. There are free ones. You don't have to spend any money. Uh, so you don't use the same password on multiple websites. And password manager can generate random characters for your passwords. So make sure you use a password manager. In this day and age, you've got to. Uh, Snuffy Girl says you can do renders via IRA and Substance. Can you really? I've never even looked at that in, in Substance. I don't tend to use, I, I don't use these programs. If I'm going to be doing rendering, I use Max. I jump into Max to do my renders. Uh, I, de I never use Marmoset. I never use Substance. So I'm probably not the best person to ask then. <laughs> that wasn't a way you could do rendering in, in, in Substance here. Yeah, no, I've never, I've never looked into it. Sorry, I've never done any rendering in Substance. I use Max if I need to render anything. Let's get rid of that layer. So yeah, no, I can't help out there. I'm afraid, come on. Um, when I need to take a screenshot though, like say so you're saying you prefer the, the, the working space as opposed to the, re the IRA render that you can get out of um, Substance. If I need to take a screenshot, say of this, then I, I, I will screenshot it. And like, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get close to it. I'll, I'll, frame it up and I'll screenshot it because um, as far as I'm aware there's no way to actually do an export of the uh, viewport no not that I'm aware of so yeah I just either send it to uh, Photoshop or screenshot it Okay, so this are the columns. So let's do a color selection to the columns. Oh, again, I forgot to do the uh, bake out for the ID map. Did I? No, oh, but I forgot to set it to vertex. That's why it didn't work. There we go. Now it'll work. Uh, so we want the columns. And then we want the arches. Which are these. 
It looks like I separated these columns as well. So I could... I was going to say, I, I created this for, for a different part of the model, not for the columns. Curious to see what it looks like on the columns though. Because the columns here are a different colour. Mm. Can't say I love it. Well, we might leave it that way. It matches the arches anyway. Yeah, why not? Why not? Uh, let's do a save. Let's export the textures actually. Actually, yep. Good. Room church textures. Export. Let's save. And move on. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. We should have five. One, two, three, four, five. Good. We've got one piece left, so that, that'll be this piece over here. So we are going to clone it as a copy as the high res version. We are going to rename this one underscore LR for low res. We're going to quantify the mesh. Actually, just before I do this, in case Max crashes, <gasps> I'm just going to do a save. Okay, now we're going to quantify the mesh. And do a turbo smooth. Save the high res version. Save the low res version. And create a new project in Painter after we save this. Did, we do, did I save this at all? I don't think I did. One, two, three. Maybe I did. Rune Church E, Rune Church B. Yes, I did. I did. I already saved it. Yep. And we're working with... Uh, <laughs> what was the name of that again? Church F. Okay. Hi res. Hey. Um Smurf says hardware two factor authentication on my Google accounts. Come at me, hackers. <laughs> don't tempt them, Smurf, don't tempt them. <laughs> For God's sake, please don't tempt them. I'm just trying to work out. Did that do a bake out correctly? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> um, I don't know that it did for some reason. What? Let, let's just do this again, shall we? Yeah, let's just uh, create a new project so I can Check it. Uh, church F. <laughs> it's Church F we're doing, isn't it? Yeah. Church F. Low res. Hang on. That's the one we want. I think I might have loaded the wrong uh, asset piece. Now we want to do the high res. Church F high res. That's all good. Bye. I'm going to be paying attention here while it's doing this so I can see what it's doing. Mm. 
Let me jump back into Max. It does not look like it's baking out correctly to me. Our um, stone should be a, a, a bit more smooth than what I'm seeing here in Substance. Now, why would that be? I wonder. Anything I can think of. It, no, no, I did. Oh, I didn't do a collapse of the stack, so I'm going to do that because it may be confusing. Um, Substance Painter. So we're going to re-export the high-res mesh one more time. And we're going to rebake the map. So I'm just going to remove this and reload it. And rebake it. That's looking better to me already. I can tell it's um, baking out correctly. Don't you make a liar of me now. Yeah, that's better. Much better. So yeah, Substance was uh, having a problem. Something to be aware of if you're taking a model from Max. Um, always make sure you collapse the stack. Otherwise, Substance gets confused. Uh, we're going to bake out just the ID map now using the low res. And rename the texture. And add the smart material. And what are we talking about? Smiker Girl says you can save renders in Painter and export them. Well, there you go. I don't know why you'd want to, but there, well, maybe I would, I would assume if you've got a 3D piece of software, if, if you're working in Painter, you must have 3D software. That's my phone going off again, sorry. Um, you must have 3D software, so why don't you do your renders in, in the 3D software? That's what it's built for. Why do you people do your renders in, in Substance Painter? I mean, uh, Mama said I can understand, uh, but Substance Painter, why? <laughs> uh, Snipey Girl says, I never, I've never messed with it, but I know it's possible. <laughs> I didn't know it was possible either. Um, Merv says, I've messed with it, but it wasn't satisfied with the output. I'm not surprised. You don't generally, you don't want to be doing your renders from Substance Painter. That would be my advice, don't do it. Unless you really, really have to. I mean, I, I, I would suggest if you, if you don't want to spend any money, download Blender and do your renders in Blender. Or use Marmoset. Uh, Smurf says, didn't seem to be as flexible as rendering in Toolbag, Marmoset Toolbag. Yeah. Well, Marmoset was created for that, to do these beauty renders, these portfolio renders, so it doesn't surprise me Painter isn't as good. It's something probably Adobe have just tacked on, uh, just for the sake of having it there, but haven't put a lot of work into it. And, yeah, so it doesn't surprise me that Marmoset does a better job. Uh, Smurf says, especially given uh, Painter's one asset sort of, yeah, well, that, again, that's that's the other problem with Painter here. You, you can, look, you, if I was to go into the Max and select everything and export it as a file, I could bring it all into uh, Painter. But then it gets really difficult to texture up individual pieces, and I need to keep them separate because when I bring this into the Unreal Engine, we're going to be bringing it in as pieces, not as one mesh. Uh, that and it was designed this way because it was designed to be modular so that like I could copy this piece say and, and move it like I, I could copy this piece and and expand the size of this church if I wanted to like I could bring you know one over here and you know I could do all sorts of stuff there. so it was designed in a modular way and it's going to be brought into the engine in this modular way so it's being textured in painter in a modular way Uh, but yeah, that is one of the limitations in Painter. You've re you really only got to work with one asset at a time, really. Um, Snappy Girl says, I honestly prefer to render in Marmoset. It looks good and it's fast. Yeah, you, Marmoset was made for, for beauty renders. Portfolio renders. 
Sniper Girl says, for curiosity's sake, can I see the wireframe of one of those ruined pieces? I guess you can. You're a bit of a smart ass when it comes to, to wireframes though, aren't you? So I don't know if I should. Um, we'll go to the low res version. No, not that one. Eat your chip. Uh, let's do a. Uh, hang on, let me let me edge faces. There we go. That'll be easy to see. So that is the wireframe. Uh, and again, these pieces were created to go into a game engine, which is why they're triangulated and not quads. Because as you guys and girls know, any any asset you bring into a game engine is always triangulated. The engine will do, even if you export your model as a quad, uh, it's going to be imported as a, a try. So the, the engine will actually triangulate the mesh on import. No problem. Take it from me. I've learned my lesson. She gave everything. So for argument's sake, that piece of geometry as far as poly count goes. Give me her love, then she take it away. Is ten thousand polys. It's ten thousand tries actually, because it's not polygons, it's tries. Okay, so we're going to save this next file. Uh, we should have all, all, actually I didn't finish texturing this up, did I? So let's do that. Uh, church columns, let's start with that one. Which are these. The church arches, which we don't have any of here, so we don't want that. The dirt sides, which are these columns here. We do have, so let's pick that one, which will be that. Um, the stone is stone, so that should be it. Export textures. Models, ruin church textures. I renamed it, good. Kamal says, uh, I didn't like iRay's output too. For example, I used dirt filter in my work. When I render, I notice the dirt seems so different, not the same as with the 3D view. Setting shader quality with uh, 64 samples per pixel looks much better than iRay render. That's my opinion. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I've never messed with the iRay renderer in this. So I can't speak exactly to the quality of it but I would never do a render using Painter. No, no, <laughs> just, just no. <laughs> uh, but I do take the image that you see, like when I, when I post to my Twitter account after the stream, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab one of these images and put it in my Twitter post. So I, I use it this way in the viewport. Um, because if I was to do it in Max, I'd have to set up a physical material and load in all the texture maps and blah, 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 blah. It's just quicker and easier for my Twitter post to grab uh, a screenshot of the viewport you see here. So that's generally what I use it's Painter for, just for posts on Twitter. So, and so yeah, I don't blame you, Kamal. Kamal says, besides I use blurry HDR background in common in iRay render settings, it forces to choose solid color. Really? You can't use a HDRI background? That's pretty stupid. Why do they even bother if they force you to use a solid color background? Wow. <laughs> Snoop says, yeah, drink that coffee cup. <laughs> I want coffee. Yes, well, see, I don't have um, a uh, health watch here to remind me to save and to, and to drink coffee, so I've got to do it myself now. But thank you, Smurf, for that reminder. I'll have more coffee. Uh, Smurf says, I'm having coffee vicariously through Phil. Well, why don't you make yourself a coffee, Smurf? You're allowed. I'll give you permission to go and make yourself a copy. I do like my coffee. 
uh, Snappy Girl says, if you don't want to spend money, do renders in Unreal. A very good point, actually. One that I, I should have mentioned. Yes, do them in Unreal. Unreal Engine rendering, particularly the in uh, Unreal 4.27, the um, path tracer is incorporated now. So that's if you really want to do your renders and you want nice quality, use path tracing in the Unreal Engine um, 4.27 version and above. You can't anything below. I don't think path tracer was in it. Use the Unreal. Unreal does a really good job. And the path tracer was made for like doing production rendering, commercial sort of rendering work. Uh, Smurf says, yeah, Unreal can do beauty renders these days. It certainly can. It does them very nicely too. It's not because says that it can. <laughs> uh, she says, it's like you said, Adobe didn't put much thought into their, into your eye rate, which does not surprise me. Does it surprise you? This is Adobe we're talking about. Uh, Kamal says, Phil, as you, as you see, I work hard substance on these days. That's good. Substance painter is, uh, well, do you mean Substance Painter or Designer? I, I don't use Substance Designer. Uh, it's a very good program, but it's really full on. And I just don't, I, I, I don't need to. If I want to create a Substance Material, I'll generally use what used to be called Alchemist and is now called Sampler, 3D Sampler. Adobe had to rename it. We were talking about that yesterday. Oh, Smurfberry says, I have no coffee. Oh no. How could you not run out of coffee, Smurfberry? Have tea. tea. Tea's got caffeine in it as well. You know, I should have a cup of tea sometime soon. I haven't had a cup of tea in years. And I used to drink tea religiously because my mother uh, is British, was British. Um, and so when I was brought up as a child, I was, I'm Australian, I was born in Australia. Um, but as a child, because my mother was English, I used to drink tea all the time. Um, now it's coffee and I haven't had tea for a couple of years, but uh, I should have a cup of tea. Uh, Sniper Girl says to Kamal, you know, you get help for that if you have a substance problem. If you have any problems with substance, oh guys, again, if, you, if, you, if you're a 3D person, you're, <laughs> or you do 2D or whatever, an art problem, jump on the Discord server and, and ask a question. There's a help and advice section there. Art help advice, it's called. So ask a question in there if you're having a problem with something and either I will help you or one of the mods will help you or one of the users will help you because a lot of the users of the Discord server are 3D people themselves. So there's always somebody who can lend a hand. It was one of the reasons I created the Discord. It was also for people to post links to stuff, <laughs> even though we've been saying don't click on links um, because uh, only subs can post links in my Twitch chat. So hang on, what's this? Um, Snappy Girl says, watch as something goes over Phil's head. Mm. Oh, I get what you mean. You can get help with that if you have a substance problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm just mentioning you can use a Discord server if you do have a legitimate 3D problem. And not an addiction problem. Although 3D can be an addiction. <laughs> Snappy Girl says, substance problem, AK. Okay. Substance abuse drugs. I get it. It was a joke. Yep, I get it. I do get it. it takes me a little while, but I do get it in the end. Um, now, I don't think I saved this one, so let's save as. I did export the texture though, didn't I? Did I? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one. Two, three, four, five, six. Yes, we're all good to go. Okay. Uh, let's actually. Am I going to be jumping into Substance Painter again? I don't know if I am. I'm just going to new. Actually, I'm not going to new. I'm just going to close the project because um, we're going to jump back into that hallway to work. There's just a couple of pieces that we've got left to work on, and the the windows and stuff. I think. While I can fail. What? Did I, I may have moved it. Let's see. Where is it? Hmm. 
new entry hallway. I, I did, I moved it into, see you guys know I work for revision, so any time I make significant changes to the file, instead of saving over the original, I just put a revision number after it, so revision 1, revision 2, revision 3, which is what I've done here, we're up to revision 6. And then the old ones, I move into the old folder, so I don't get confused as to what the latest one is. And so what's happened is the recent files list in Max is referencing a file I used to have here, but I've moved here. We can open this one. This is the latest one. It just helps to keep things organized. Otherwise you end up with, can't, well, I can end up with like 20, 30 revisions of a file, which eats up my hard drive space. I really should go through and clean them up at some stage. Uh, yeah, and I just do that because I, I find it safer to save as a new file revision than trying to continually overwrite the original just in case something happens because, you know, <laughs> computers, things can break. Uh, and I, I don't want my original file to ever become corrupted. So, uh, so yeah. So this room, like I said, it's pretty much done. Uh, I think the only thing we have left to do is to... Uh, create some meshes here for the windows. Actually, the, the, the dirt here, I wanted to just uh, darken up the soil. I think it's a little bit too brown. <laughs> I know dirt is brown, but uh, for the room here, I think it might look a bit better, but it's just a little darker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find where uh, I put those textures. And they are in Nuvo Entry Hallway Exports. Now you can, well, I could darken it up with um, in, in, in through the shader in Unreal if I wanted to, but why why create more work for the shader if I can do it like say in Photoshop, which is what I'm going to do. Uh, but I could certainly darken it up though in uh, in Unreal in the shader itself if I really wanted to. But it adds more instructions to the shader for something that is easier and better to do in Photoshop anyway. <laughs> she says, give Bill a middle. It took him a while, but he got it. I got there in the end. Entry hallway exports. We're in the right folder already. We want uh, that soil and where is the other soil? This one up here. Uh, now, because all I'm going to be doing is changing the color. I don't need to make any alterations to the uh, roughness or any or the normal or anything like that. I'm only making an adjustment to the color here. Just because it, it's a little too yellow and a little too brown. So I'm going to put an adjustment layer on it with a color balance. And we're just going to bring in a little bit more blue. In the mid-tones and in the shadows. And the highlights. And I'm also just going to throw a uh, levels down, I think. Just darken it up a little bit. Hey, Andrew Dust, it's good to see you, buddy. Good morning to you as well. You love the garden, Kamal? I'm glad you loved it. That's that's actually a, a, an, a, an interior hallway section for the for the new bow entryway for the for the game. How's it going, Android Lust? Going good. Good to hear. I'm doing really well. I hope you are too. Well, you obviously said you are. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to arrange these. So I can do a copy. So this is the new version that we're going with, and this was the original color. I'm just going to grab both of these and drag it into this one to copy them over. Um, then I'm just going to merge the layers. Oh, don't you do that. All right, fine. You want to be difficult, be difficult. Uh, I'm going to do a save as copy and just overwrite the original. Hang on. Phil, Phil was a bit too quick there with hitting buttons on his keyboard. Yes, I want to replace it. And the same with this one. I still can't get used to this save as copy business that uh, 
Autodesk have introduced in Photoshop. What was wrong with the way Photoshop used to be? Why did you have to start messing around with all this sort of rubbish? <laughs> Save as copy, I mean, come on, really. Why? Why Autodesk? Not Autodesk, sorry. Why Adobe? Why Adobe? <laughs> Autodesk, man. Uh, let's... Now, why is that not reloading? It must have saved it. Looks like it might have saved it as a different name. Why is that? Base color. Base color. What's the difference here? Soil, default material, base colors. Oh, fountain soil. Okay, I better I better um, fix that before I bring start before I forget what's going on because I will. When I have to bring it into the Unreal Engine, I won't know what I'm doing. So, uh, Nuvo Entry. Textures? No. Export? No. Nuvo Models? No. Oh, it's not the Nuvo Entry, it's the hallway. <laughs> oh man. No, I think it's under Exports. Yes. Okay. So this is what it was originally called. So I'm just going to rename this. I'm going to copy the name. Rename it old. And I'm going to rename this one to what that one was called. And now Phil won't get confused when he needs to bring it into our room. There we go. The soil's just a bit darker. It'll blend better with the foliage when I bring it in. But what we need to do is we need to create... Well, I need to create just a rectangle for these uh, window pieces because we're going to be using a glass shader in Unreal. So let's do that first. I'm just going to go and jump into the side view to do this because uh, I can see the windows a bit more easily. And we're just going to be using a... I could use a plane, but I actually prefer to use a box. I like the windows to have a little bit of depth, particularly when we're using an actual glass shader in, a, in the Unreal Engine. Putting the glass shader on, on a plane doesn't quite look right because glass is not completely flat. You know, glass has depth to it. Uh, so I always I prefer to use uh, a box as opposed to a plane if I'm doing glass windows. Don't to make it too big, just big enough to cover the window. All the windows are the same size, so um, move this over, move it up here so we can actually see. We'll go to the middle window, I think. And we're just going to be sitting that back there like that. Uh, I might just do some adjustments to the size. It's probably a little bit bigger than we actually need. Sorry if you hear that dog next door. It, man, you don't want to live where I live. Uh, a lady moved in. A new, uh, there's a new person living across from me. Um, next door to me, I should say. And she has one of those toy dogs. And when she's not home, it whines and it whines and it barks. You know, those those little dogs, they, they're a little bit strange to begin with and so yeah it, it doesn't and it, it's doing what it's doing now which is barking and whining and whinging which is why Phil does not have any pets anymore and when Phil did have a pet it used to be a cat not a dog uh, I generally when I'm trying to work I have to put my headphones in it's that bad so Phil's not happy <laughs> not happy about the dog next door And we're just going to call this one Garden Hallway underscore. Uh, window Glass. Uh, we do need to make sure it's UV mapped, which is what we're going to do, because even though we're going to be using a glass shader which is transparent, we still need to have the correct UV mapping on it. Uh, but I only need the UV mapping actually. Let's see. Yeah, that'll do. 
So that's good to go. Let's collapse the stack. Uh, now, now the uh, the actual doors here. Where am I? I'm getting I'm getting lost. There we go. Uh, the actual doors here, because we need to hide one side from the other, so the player can't see the landscape out there. We need to. I, I want to put glass in here. I'm also probably going to grow some ivy on the outside of the of the door, but I want to put glass in there. Hang on, what's going on in the chat? Uh, Autodesk Photoshop, yes I know. I always get Autodesk and Adobe confused. I both start with A. That's that's my excuse. Um, <laughs> hey Jazan, sorry Jazan, I just noticed your, your message. How are you Jazan? It's good to see you. Uh, Kamal says to Android Lust, it seems you've recovered your account. Uh, Android Lust says, I didn't recover my Discord account. That's the one that's gone. Oh no. Yeah, well, like I said yesterday, Android lost. If you when you can recover it, assuming you can, let me know and we'll reinstate it. Or if you uh, want to use a different account, I don't know. Because <laughs> we've got to have you posting those beautiful uh, character renders you do in the Discord, Android lost. We can't. They cannot ha not. They cannot keep happening. So you must get your Discord account back. Hello to you too, Jizan. Kamal says to Android Lust anyway, it's good to see you. Uh, Snappy Girl says roughly 4 4,000 more points, about four more days of safety <laughs> until you play the game. Oh no. So how many points do you accumulate, Snappy Girl, by watching one of my streams a day? So you're saying four more streams and then, then you'll have like, you get like a thousand points a day watching one of my streams. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> About 1,000 a stream. Okay. Okay. Well, so, so yeah, I, I do two streams a week. So I, I probably got a week or two's grace before you make me play that horrible pony game. Yeah. <laughs> Be right back, Smurf says, no problems. No, big girl says, no, don't leave me alone with Philly's old and crazy. <laughs> Gisela says, no worries. It's been a while, really busy. Yeah. I, it has been a while, but it's good to see you, uh, and good to hear that you're well. Same with Kamal. I haven't seen Kamal for a while either, so it's good to see, see him as well. Snappy Girl says to Jizan, yes, it's been... How have you been, uh, Snappy Girl? Jizan says, been good. Finished up a project for Crayola. Oh, cool. Snappy Girl says, uh, and that's with being active and chat and everything. I know. Well, you, you accumulate the points from watching me, so you don't have to do much. <laughs> um, Snappy Girl says, did Jizan nice? How did it go? Uh, Jizan says, I have like 10.3 thousand Pildo points. <gasps> what can you buy with that? Many like I have my request screen open here, but it doesn't show me how many points you people need to redeem them. I have to actually go into my account to check that in Twitch. Twitch should actually put it in, the, in my requests pop out that I have which just tells me if anyone requests anything using the viewer points and sniper girl threat is is going to make me play some really horrible pony game uh, online multiplayer pony game that's free to download and play from Steam uh, that looks absolutely dreadful because she linked to a video on the discord of a guy who reviewed it and it's just awful so she's gonna force me to play that <laughs> I should never have added that viewer, um, that, that redeem, view, viewer's choice redemption thing for viewer points. That's basically where you guys get to choose the game that I play. I should never have done that. <laughs> uh, Juzan says, pretty well, I think I can show it since it's being aired at their events. Make sure you can be, be careful. But we'd love to see it, for sure. Snappy Girl says, uh, just a heads up, in about five more streams, Pearl is going to be playing a really, really bad pony game. <sighs> Don't think you want to miss, miss it, no. You know, Pearl's, Pearl's pretty rubbish at playing games in general, but playing this pony game is absolutely dreadful. 
bit dreadful. And like I said to you guys, if it's free, you know it's bad. If they're giving, giving it away for free. Jazan says, hard work did the entire, hard work, I did the entire environment, almost went crazy. Uh, Snappy Girl says, wow, nice. Was it for a commercial? Android Lust says, funny, I had one personal project nearly finished. Just had to render the animation and I didn't feel like doing so, so I almost finished another personal project, but now I've been a bit busy with uh, non-personal projects so I can't show. I haven't worked on anything personal since Christmas. I thought it had been a while, so I look forward to seeing the uh, the character work that you, you do, because I love your work. Your work is just beautiful. Um, but I get it. If you've been busy with other projects, then yeah, that's fine. But I'm looking forward to seeing more, char more, char more of your characters, because I do love them. And for anyone that hasn't seen, your, are your posts still in the gallery? I don't know how it works when uh, a user is kicked from an account, whether the whether the images go as well. I'm just looking through the Discord. I hope that's not the case, because some of your work is beautiful. All of your work is beautiful. Um, Casanova, actually, I'm looking at his character work as well. It's very nice too. I'll be very annoyed if uh, that removed images that you posted. Mm. Yeah, Casanova, he does nice work too. So check out his work in the uh, gallery on the Discord. The username Casanova. I don't see your any of your work, so. Uh, That's not you, is it? That's the person who took my account. Oh. Oh. Okay, because I'm thinking, geez, this work looks like Android, Android Lust character. <laughs> so this Casanova person is the person that stole your account. Wow. Uh, right. What a scumbag. <laughs> Sorry, but what a scumbag. At least your images are still up. And uh, any any of this, this work by Casanova is Android Lust's work. So if you're looking at these beautiful, which I should have realized, because like I said, it looked so much like your work. I thought, hmm. Wow, it took me a while, but I got there. That's, that sucks. That's uh, Android Lust's work, not this Casanova. They're the person that stole his account, his Discord account. Uh, yeah, as Android Lust says, Juzan, you should probably show it after they air it. Uh, Juzan says they have an actual building for kids and it plays in the background. That's slightly different from airing it publicly, though. If, if it's their building and they're playing it in their building, I'd be careful still. Snubby Girl says it's a grindy, horrid mess <laughs> and you play as a female character with a male semi-romantic interest. Can't be any better for you. I don't mind playing with as a female character, that's no issue, it's fine. Uh, I did see the, the male boyfriend character in that video that you linked to, the guy reviewing it, and man it was cringy, cringy, cringy dialogue, it was awful. So yes, it's going to be fun to play. Thank you so much Sniper Girl for thinking of me. Android Lust says, uh, yeah that's him. <laughs> Casanova isn't real. Android Lust, Android Lust says they changed the name and everything. Um, Andrew Lust says, I'm not salty. I would be incredibly salty about it. I would be so salty about it. You're, you're, <laughs> you're better than I would be, man. I would be so pissed. Have, have Discord gotten back to you yet, Android Lust? Are they doing anything about this? <sighs> wow. It sucks. It really, really sucks. These hackers, nasty, nasty hackers. Well, that's not even really hacking. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. These are just script kiddies, probably. Trying to grab people's accounts. Because, mm. uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to work out why they, they want Discord accounts, but 
who, who knows the mind of these people. And like I said, they can use it maybe to get into other accounts of yours or maybe they can post messages to your contact lists with malware links and all that sort of junk. <sighs> Andrew Dust says, nope, nothing. So Discord have not gotten back to you at all. Way to go, Discord. Come on. Who were Discord bought by recently? It was some really big company. Who was it? Was it Microsoft? No, not Microsoft. Somebody bought Discord. A really large company. Uh, so regardless of who, which company it is, it's a large company. They can afford to fix this problem, and they should be. Their, their customer service should be on top of this a little bit better than taking like a, what had been nearly a week or something. So get your act together, Discord. Not good. Kamal says, 5 a.m. here, I must sleep. Take care, my friends. Well, thank you for popping in, Kamal. I do know it's really early where you are. You have a good night's sleep. It was good to chat with you. Uh, Andrew Luss says, if my Maya license was stolen, yes, I'd be salty. Well, I guess that's true. It's a Discord account. It's not like... You, you, and you don't have credit cards or anything linked to your Discord, do you? <laughs> so you should be fine. But if it was a, a software license for Maya, I'm sure Autodesk could get onto it much more quickly than Discord seemed to be. Um, Snappy Girl says, yes, bye Kamal. Thanks, good to see you. Yeah, but I still think it stinks. Uh, Discord should be getting onto this much more quickly than they obviously are. I'm just going to go into isolation mode here so we can make it easier for me to add, fit a um, glass paint, paint in there. Got on here. Stop that. I forgot to check the the thickness of that other piece, so we must check that as well. We don't want it too thick. Uh, it has to fit inside of this doorway as well so it can't be too thick it should be fine so long as it doesn't over overlap any of the uh, decorative pieces it just make some adjustments to the size of it so it fits in a little bit better i like to leave some overlap because it's easier for me to place it in there if i made it right to the edge it makes it much more fiddly than to place inside of unreal so just get a bit of overlap gives me a bit of play makes it easier for me to actually place uh, so we're going to call this um, Nouveau, N-U-V-E-A, New Doors Class. Um, let's do a UV map. And collapse the stack. Now we need to come up with a texture for this. So we need to find a texture I can put in there. I mean, we could make it a plain glass, but I think if we added a bit of color through a, a texture, it might look better. So let's see. So I'm just going to jump into, um, just going to find the link off screen. Here. I'm going to go back to that site that I showed you a couple of weeks ago. Um, if I can remember where I put it. Yep. I'm just going to grab this link and bring it into Edge. Uh, anyone new to my channel who wants to know more about me, go to my website, fieldas3dwither.com on the end. You can look at my previous work and all that sort of stuff. There's links to all of my social media. So I'm just going to go through here and see if there are any images. This is, uh, again, these are um, royalty-free open source images you can use, or stained glass in this case. 
Uh, I don't want anything too detailed. I'm going for, for more of just like an abstract color. There are a couple of ways we can do that. Um, like we could, uh, let's find something. Like a lot of these are very detailed and I don't want anything detailed, but we can. Yeah, no, not that one. It's more the color I'm interested in as opposed to actually what the window looks like because it's color that I'm trying to bring into that door. So um, that's probably not going to work. Andrew Dust says this chord doesn't really have a customer support that or they have one guy that handles all the tickets. Well that's that's unacceptable. Let me let me say I want to find out what company bought Discord. Because it only happened relatively recently. Discord oh shit. Microsoft. No, to the end deal. Microsoft has been advanced talks to acquire Discord. 10 billion. No, the Discord deal was dead. I'm sure Discord was bought by someone. Let's have a look at Wikipedia. Let's see what they say about it. Discord runs on Windows. Discord development. Discord was publicly released. January Discord raised. Microsoft announced in April it provide Discord support. April. In March, Discord announced that it hired its first chief. So they, I thought I was I always thought that in September Google sent a cease and desist notice to developers. <laughs> wow. Oh uh, uh, yeah, it looks like they they. I, it was the Microsoft deal that I was thinking of, but obviously it fell through. Well, maybe you should have been let Microsoft buy you at Discord. Maybe then you'd uh, be on top of what's going on with your uh, service. Mm, hang on, what's this? Mock-up image of the Discord around the proposed Web3 principle integration, cryptocurrency, non-fungible token. Did they try and get into this cryptocurrency crap? That's very disappointing Discord, if that's the case. Hmm. Anyway, my mistake. I assumed, I thought Discord had been purchased by a larger company like Microsoft, but obviously not. Uh, Andrew Doss says, if Microsoft bought it, there might have been an actual customer support. Yeah, I agree. Obviously Discord um, didn't sell to Microsoft, so... Very disappointing. Oh man, why did I do that? I needed, I needed that uh, link that we were looking at. It's okay, I think I still got it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that sucks. I, I, I thought Mark, uh, I thought a big company had purchased Discord because I did remember. I remembered reading about some big company bidding for Discord, uh, but obviously Discord decided that it wasn't a good enough deal for them, so they didn't do it, which might explain why everything is going so badly for them on their server with people hacking accounts. Uh, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. My apologies for that horrid little dog next door. That's what I had to put up with. 
it, it winds like that when the owner is not home. So, and it goes for hours and hours and hours. I always thought, you know, it would get sick of it. It, it would just, you know, wear itself out, but not this little thing. It goes for hours and hours. Uh, it's okay, though, Android Lost says. Euro says, I doubt it. Uh, hey, Euro, uh, the Microsoft forums are atrocious to find out. <laughs> Aren't they just? Atrocious to find any relevant info when searching for something even as simple as an OS stock code. Oh, you tell me about it. The, the um, yeah, the forums, the Microsoft forums are the worst. They really are the worst. They, they mark answers as being answered that are just irrelevant to the question that was originally asked. It's just... It's terrible. I've never come across a forum as bad as, as the Microsoft support forum. Uh, Snapper Girl says uh, Discord isn't profitable enough for a company to buy them. <laughs> I mean, they do voice and video communication, which costs a lot of money and servers. I doubt they get enough to cover it from their pro membership, whatever they're calling it these days. Yeah, I know. Uh, as a server owner, they're constantly bombarding me with boosting my server or some crap like that, which you pay for. No, ain't going to be happening, Discord, you can forget it. I mean, you know, I, I like their servers. I like that we can set up a, a server and, and, and have a community on Discord. That's all really good. Like, I like Discord itself, um, but I'm not, I'm not going to be paying any money for it. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to be boosting my server. And, and they're, they're really sneaky too, because they, when, the way they market it to me as a server owner, uh, they want me to encourage you guys to buy boosts to boost my server. And I, I've never mentioned it to you guys because I, <laughs> I think that's a bit of, bit of a scummy way to do things. But anyway, your back smurf, good, good, your back. Did you, did you get some coffee? Uh, Snappy girl says to smurf, welcome back. Euro says your neighbour should leave the radio on that for, on for the dog when not home. Imagine being stuck in a small room all day every day with nothing to do. And not even having music to listen to the poor doggo yeah look i don't disagree um and it's obviously doing it because it misses its owner it's not doing it to be annoying although it is very annoying um yeah anyway but you're right maybe leave the tv on leave the radio on something and it's one of those toy dogs you know it's one of those little dogs i know that much no, it says, I got some water. Oh, okay. Well, I'll have some coffee for you. We're trying to find a texture for those Art Nouveau doors. For the glass on the doors. And I just want something abstract and colourful. I don't particularly want anything detailed. Andrew Dust says the dog is probably waiting at the door the whole time, but it must be. Yeah, I think it must be because it's, it's quite loud. Although it has quietened down now, so that's good. Which is unusual because yesterday, it, not yesterday, the day before. Man, I, I literally had to wear headphones. Like normally I put my TV on in the background with music going, like I'm on MTV or something. And I work and I listen to music. <laughs> But the other day, and I couldn't. I had to put physically put my earphones in because the noise of the dog was driving me nuts. Nuts. But that was fine. Put my earphones in, couldn't hear it, so. Got some work done in the end. Okay, let's have a look at this. Oh, it's not high res enough. That's a shame. Okay. That is a shame. All right, let's see what else we can find. What's this one? Let's see what we can do with this one. We will download. Mm. 
Let's open Photoshop. Because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want like, <laughs> I don't want stained glass religious figures in that door. It's it's an, an Art Nouveau doorway. So I just want to see what we can't do something with that. by first of all I want to get rid of this line through the middle so I'm just going to duplicate I don't know, we'll grab the bottom part I guess oh spoke too soon the dog is crying again no I'm not going to be really um I'm just going to do this really roughly because I, what I want to do here is I want to merge the layer. I, I'm not sure this will actually work for me, but we'll find out. And we'll go to a filter, we'll do a blur, and we'll do a Gaussian blur. And pull it right up. I might see if we can't change the colors a little bit as well by doing uh, hue saturation. Maybe bring it more into a blue. And then we can do a sharpen. why it's not working it's, it's it's on the wrong layer we need to do a sharpen on the right layer that would help <laughs> but I'm just what I'm trying to do here is just get the colors of the glass and not worry about the pattern in the glass that's what I'm, I'm trying to do here um, Sniper Girl says, I retract that, was talking based on old data. Turns out they generated 130 million in revenue in 2020, which was a 188% increase. Guessing the human malware helped them out greatly. I think you might be right. Yep, I'm guessing the same thing. It was the human malware. It's been very good for, for, for a lot of tech, not tech companies, the human malware. It's sort of like sped everything up with video conferencing and people working from home and you know yeah it's been good for the tech companies android lust says well i didn't know discord has an official forum just glancing through it there's no mod <laughs> moderator staff in sight wow sniper girl says uh, an update four thousand more points left four thousand more points left. <laughs> the size of this we can knock this back to let's go uh, let's do 1024 by 1024 let's go, I, I want to check what this looks like so I'm going to save as a copy not to my downloads but to Evo entry hallway textures no it was exports wasn't it I'm gonna call this stained glass uh, door glass Evo door glass Evo door glass text um 
to save it as a PNG file, not as a JPEG. Exports N O U V E A U Draw Glass Text and Let's jump into Max Snappergill says, well, how do they run a forum without a moderator? Yeah, good question. That's probably the reason that there's so many people have, having problems with being hacked on Discord. Nothing, there's no moderation going on at all. You know, it's a wild west. Andrew Dust says, well, the forum is kind of dead. Well, people are asking questions and whatnot, but no replies from mods. Explains it as Snappergill says, yeah, <laughs> certainly does. Now uh, let's create a new standard material just so I can see what this looks like. Models. New entry hallway exports. This one. And let's just drop the opacity a little bit because it is meant to be like a glass color side. All the opacity. I, I may have to say something to my neighbor, I think, though, about the dogs. <laughs> uh, I've worked from home and I can't have it doing this all day long. I'm just trying to see whether I like the colours in that glass. It sort of matches a little bit with the tile. We've got some pink, some blue. We are going to have uh, ivy growing on it as well. Maybe. to say. Maybe something with more yellow and it would be better. Let's see what else we've got here. Worst comes to worse. We could use the texture we're using in the skylights because that would sort of... I, I probably prefer not to do that though because I think then it would just be a little bit too samey because we have that skylight right above where those doors are which we have that texture on. Uh, we could use that, that texture as well, again, in the doors, but yeah, I prefer probably not to. Or we could just even go with a smoked glass and, and no, no texture on it at all. That's a bit boring. Um, Smurf so says, seems like a liability about the disc, I agree. It's just a bit, like the girl says. Andrew Lust says, I didn't expect this, to be honest. You should uh, doggy sit the dog while they're out. No, I don't, I don't actually like dogs. I have to admit, guys. I mean, I don't hate them, but I like cats. I'm a cat person, not a dog person. Uh, so, yeah. I'd, I'd rather not babysit it. What's this one? Let's have a look at this one. Copy image, save image as. Let's put it on the desktop, it's just easier. Easier to find. 
um, back into Photoshop, desktop. I like the bit of red in this, but I'm probably going to look at. I do like the red and the brown. I'm just going to create a new file. And again, we're going to do a blur. And a smart sharpen. Let's change the image size. And save it. As a PNG. I'm just going to call it Test 2. I'll rename it if I like it once we've put it in Max and had a look at it. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to copy the glass over to the other side so we can do a comparison between the two of these. Let's load up this new texture. And assign it to the glass. Uh, let's just also change the opacity to what we're working with about 60%. Mm. Again we're picking up on a bit of the pink more of the gold, a bit of the blue. Every time I try to talk about a situation, my words fall in deaf ears with more confusion. I'm just worried it's starting to get a bit too yellow, or like, yeah. It, it's sort of blends in a bit too much with the gold of the door. This one stands out a little bit more with more of the blue. I'm just going to do a search on Google. Colin Heaney, H-E-A-N-E-Y, glassware I think it is. Um, I've used images of Colin Heaney's work. He's a, a glass blower. He creates a really, really lovely. Um, I've got a couple of pieces of his as well. Uh, re really interesting glasses. So what I what I've done in the past is I find something I like the look of, like let's say this vase. I need to find, if I can't find a high res image, I can always uh, use Gigapixel, but I'm just going to go through these to see if there's anything else here I might like more. Interesting. I don't want to be logged into 
thingy at the moment. What I can do is I can save the image as Then I can open up Gigapixel because we're not going to be using a, a, a texture map bigger than 1024 anyway, so Gigapixel. Let's open up that image. 2000 by 2000 should be fine. Jump into Photoshop. We're going to crop the image. Uh, ten twenty four by ten twenty four. Save as copy to a PNG. I'm going to call it test three just so I can see whether I like it or not. And let's swap out the gold one here. Yeah, I don't mind that. I like, I like the green a little bit more than I like the yellow or the multicolored one here. Well, if you're wondering what's happened, <laughs> so am I. Um, Andrew Law says the dog is the size of a cat. Practically the same thing. I think the, the dog is probably smaller than the cat. Um, Snappy Girl says, yep, practically the same thing. I hear dogs taste good. <laughs> That's terrible. Don't say things like that, Snappy Girl. That's terrible. Uh, Snap says, I see a dolphin. Uh, dolphins are best. <laughs> I think we're, we're going to go with the, um, the green. So we'll just assign the same material to that one. Get rid of that one. Uh, I'm going to rename this, so I'm going to save as copy, we're going to save it into the into the, into the, into the Evo Entry Hallway uh, exports, I think it is, is that correct? Yes, exports. Uh, and we're calling it N-O-U-V-E-A-U, Nuvo Doors Plus. Text. Oh, why did it always do it as a JPEG? I always forget to check. No, we want it as a PNG. Wow. Uh, Nubo doors, this one. We'll over override that one. And change it here in Mac. Point to the correct folder. Models. That one. Good. So yeah, I think picking up on the green is a bit better. Although it was just it was too yellow picking up on the yellow and two multicolored picking up on the blue and the pink. I think that's better. That'll work. It also helps to pick up on the color that we've got going on up here in the skylight as well. It's more of a, a greeny blue. And the windows, like I said, they're just going to be a, um, a dirty window you can't see through, just plain glass. They're not going to have a pattern on them. So does that mean that we have everything um, done? 
don't think there's anything left to be textured. Done the soil, done the floors, got the windows sorted. Uh, done the glass, done the ivy, done the dirtying up of the textures. I think we're probably okay. I don't think there's anything left to do. Yeah, I think we, we can say that we're done with the um with the hallway. So let's do a quick save. Let me just get these organized because I'm my OCD is kicking in, they all have to be lined up properly. And do a save. I'm surprised it's it's quietened down. Like I said the other day it it went on for hours and hours. The dog that is, hours and hours and hours. Uh, it actually said it's what set it off. I think the other day was um, I had a guy come in to check all my smoke alarms because every 12 months they need to be checked. And he brought a ladder up with him, and I think he knocked the walls with the ladder as he came up the stairwell, which set the dog off. And that's what and it kept going for hours and hours. Long after he'd gone, it still kept going. Yeah, no, keep talking about it. You'll jinx it as my very says, I know. <laughs> Okay, so we did the uh, ruined church, we've done the hallway, I've already brought the new bow entry part into the Unreal Engine. I don't know that I really feel like uh, jumping straight into Unreal now with only about 10 minutes or so left on the stream. So I'm not going to do that. <laughs> we will pick up uh, with working in Unreal next week I think, I don't want to start it today. Um, feels too tight after, after being up till the early hours of the morning. Thank you, Visual Studio. Um, it was an SDK thing. I won't get into it, but man, it was pain. A major, major pain. So yeah, next week when I come back, we will be jumping straight into Unreal and start setting up the um, the entryway here for the Barrett Estate in this new landscape you guys haven't seen before. I don't know, I don't think the guys want me to show you too much of the landscape. Like so, I, I mean, I'd love to go through it with you. There's, there's, there's a path and stuff you walk along. Um, but I don't think they want me to. So what we'll probably end up doing is just concentrating on the area here in the landscape where I'm setting up the, uh, the driveway and the hallway, I think. You know me, I can't, I can't help myself sometimes. We might go for a little wander, but maybe not. <laughs> and again, you guys have to have some stuff if you want to play the game that you haven't seen me working on on stream. You want some surprises. So I get where the, where the guys at the game studio are coming from. I do get it. Is there anything you guys want to talk about before I sign off for the day? We're not going to be talking about what's happening in the world with regard to the war. <laughs> Let's call it what it is. Um, just because it's so depressing and uh, yeah, it's not good. Uh, Snappy Girl says in five days Phil plays a horrid pony game. <laughs> May God help him. Smurfberry says best french fry cut. <laughs> no, we won't talk about that either. Android Lust says that's the only thing to talk about. <laughs> well, we had our Let's Chat stream last week, so. What? How dare you? Smurfberry says. Uh, so yes, we're looking for, I'm looking forward to Max coming out, the new version this month, and I'm looking forward to the final version of the Unreal Engine 5 coming out at some stage soon. Fingers crossed, Epic Game, please release the proper version soon. Um, yeah. Because I am looking forward to playing with it. I've, I've held off this long, and I will hold off until like, it comes out of beta, or preview release, or whatever they're calling it at the moment. But I am looking forward to playing with it. And I'm not looking forward to playing that game, so I think i Smurf says the battle between waffle cut, curly fries, and steak fries is important. Snappy Girl likes waffle cut, there you go. I like steak fries personally. Those big thick steak fries. 
Mm. I actually like um, sweet potato fries, french fries. So not made from potatoes, but from sweet potatoes. Yummy. Yummy. I love potato in general, but sweet potato particularly. Sniper Girl says, I mean, it's like waffles versus pancakes. Well, I like pancakes more than waffles. Mm, nice, nice, nice pile of pancakes with some maple syrup. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Android Lust says waffles, but I feel like if I get waffles, if I get waffle fries, I don't get many fries. <sighs> yeah, you see, I like pancakes over waffles. Waffle and pancakes and maple syrup. Yum, yum, yum. Canadian maple syrup. Yum. Sweet potato fries. <laughs> yes, I like sweet potato fries. Nay, Android Lust does not like sweet potato fries. How can you not like sweet potato? Oh, come on. Uh, Sniper Girl says, volume-wise, about the same number is less, of course. Nothing beats just a baked potato with sour cream. So, you know, you bake your potato in alfoil, oil, you slice it open, open it up, dob of sour cream in the middle of it. Um, But I always peel my potatoes. I, I don't like uh, eating potatoes that are skin still. Yuck. <laughs> Snow Girl hates sweet potato. Look, you, you Americans are weird. You don't like pumpkin. Pumpkin is yummy. You don't like sweet potato. What vegetables do you guys eat over there? <laughs> I mean, wow. Oh, you, you love pumpkin pie. Well, okay, that's something. Last time I mentioned pumpkin on the stream. Uh, you guys said that you only used them to carve for Halloween. You didn't eat them. And that, that's sacrilege. Pumpkin soup is beautiful. I love pumpkin soup. Smurf loves both. Good on you, Smurf. <laughs> Android Lust says sweet potato fries are just not fries. <laughs> Sniper Girl says uh, you're on for eating just pumpkins. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> yeah, pumpkin soup. Just straight up pumpkin soup is beautiful. I mean, you put a bit of cream in it, lovely, but just pumpkin. Pumpkin soup with stock, vegetable stock, with a bit of salt, pepper and cream, yum. And it's really good for you. So you guys don't know what you're missing. Andrew Lutz says, what does pumpkin taste like? You cannot tell me you've never had pumpkin Android Lust. Come on. Are you seriously saying you've never eaten a pumpkin? Does it taste how it looks? <laughs> I don't know how you would describe the taste of pumpkin. It tastes like pumpkin. It's got its own unique taste. You never have. You don't know what you're missing out on, really. Buy a pumpkin, bake it in the oven with a bit of, um, bit of olive oil, maybe a little bit of garlic. Yum. And then just get, yeah, just chop it up, sprinkle some olive oil over it, maybe a little bit of garlic if you like garlic, put it in the oven, bake it for like an hour, take it out, a bit of salt, pepper, and have at it. It's really nice, it's really yummy. That's actually how, when I cook pumpkin soup, that's how I do it because peeling a pumpkin can be a bit of a pain because the skin is so thick. So I generally, what I do is I cut the pumpkin up, olive oil it, garlic it, bake it for an hour. So when it comes out of the oven, it's easy to take the skin off. And then I put that in the soup uh, with the vegetable stock and stuff. And that's how I make pumpkin soup. By baking the pumpkin before I actually make the soup. It is yummy. Uh, Snappy Girl says, honestly, I uh, just normal pumpkin. I don't know. Uh, I can imagine pumpkin pie tastes much different due to the what's added. I don't think I've ever eaten pumpkin pie, you know. I've eaten a lot of other stuff with pumpkin, but I don't think I've had pumpkin pie. Uh, and yet you know, I can't really describe the taste of pumpkin because it tastes like pumpkin. It doesn't taste like anything else. Depending, you get different varieties of pumpkins as well. Some of them are sweeter than others. Like you get different types of potato, like sweet potato, which is sweeter than normal potato. Uh, so you, you can get different varieties of pumpkins like butternut pumpkin and which are, yeah, they all have a, a bit of a different taste. 
Android Lost says, is it sweet, sour, bitter, nasty? <laughs> what is it? Again, it will depend. It's not It's not bitter. Uh, it's not sour. If I'd, if I'd lean on anything, I would say more sweet, but not overly sweet. And again, it depends on the brand of the type of pumpkin you're eating. Some of them are sweeter than others, but, but more on the sweet side. Uh, Android Lost says, Hang on, hang on. Snappy Girl says, can you even buy pumpkins? Oh, we sell pumpkins 365 days of the year. You can buy a pumpkin in Australia any time of the year. They grow any time of the year. They don't just grow on fruit in Octo you know, October when the Halloween comes. Uh, they fruit all year long. So you can buy a pumpkin generally any time of the year. At least in Australia you can. Um, Andrew Dust says, I only see pumpkins in October, which, yeah, your Halloween. Smurf says, brah. <laughs> Nappy Girl says people just don't grow it normally. Uh, they come in different varieties. Well, they do. There's a lot of different varieties of pumpkin. Android Lust says don't need to grow them at all. Smurf says I guess it's sort of like a cross between a sweet potato and a butternut squash. It's more like a butternut squash, yeah. Yeah, that's a good example if you guys are familiar with butternut squash. That's like pumpkin. It tastes sort of like that. Andrew Lust says, if it's similar to sweet potato, no, it's not as sweet as sweet potato. Nowhere near as sweet as sweet potato. No. I mean, the texture is about the same. Like, you know, the, the te texture in your mouth is about the same as a sweet potato. But it's not as sweet as a sweet potato. No. Uh, Snappy Girl says, oh god, that's odd. You can't buy them year round here. Really? That, 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 that's. That's amazing to me. You can't buy pumpkins all year round in the United States because, yeah, you can buy them all year round in Australia and they're really popular. We use them. I'm going to be doing roast lamb over the weekend and I use I bake a uh, pumpkin with my roast lamb. So I do baked potato, baked pumpkin, um, baked carrots, baked tomato and baked onion generally when I do a roast lamb. And sometimes I do baked uh, sweet potato, but I haven't done that for a while. Or baked celery. But again, I haven't done that for a while either. But always, always pumpkin. Always bake pumpkin. You guys don't know what you're missing out on. Eat more pumpkin. It's good for you. Andrew Doss says, is pumpkin edible? No, no, don't eat it raw. No, 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 no. <laughs> Do not eat it raw. It'll taste horrible and it's really hard. Uh, it's a very hard vegetable, but once it's cooked, it's very soft. So... Yeah, don't eat it hard. Well, it won't be nice. Don't do that. And you guys know you should not eat potato raw either. But it, you can poison yourself, so just be careful. Don't, with some raw vegetables, you don't want to eat them raw. Um, Sniper Girl says you can grow pumpkin in a can. Is that the same? I have no idea what you're talking about. I've never seen pumpkin growing in a can. You can buy it in a can? No, you're having, you're, you're trolling me. You cannot. You can't buy pumpkin in a can. Surely not. Um, Android Lust says squash is horrible raw. I know not to eat it raw, not to eat raw potatoes. Yeah, no, it's, don't, don't eat raw potatoes, don't eat raw squash, don't eat raw pumpkin either. Um, but once it's cooked, it's very soft and nice. But again, put some garlic or something on it. You don't have to. I mean, pumpkin just baked without anything is fine. It's, it's quite nice, but I like to put garlic on everything because I love garlic. Uh, it comes back to my days as being an Italian chef because we used to use a lot of garlic in everything. Italian cooking, they use lots of garlic. So I sort of got used to a lot of garlic when I was chefing. So I put it in everything. Garlic goes in everything and garlic is good for you too. <laughs> Uh, uh, Snappy Girl says you want to bet? I can't believe that you get pumpkin in a can, but I mean you get cheese in a can, can't you, these days? I don't know what you guys in the US call it, but that cheese in a can stuff, which spray? Gross. Absolutely gross. God knows what they put in that to make it. Um, we might leave it there, I think, for today, guys and girls. <laughs> I've told you my views on pumpkin. You guys should try pumpkin. It's good.
Um, I do want to thank you though very much for hanging out with me and for watching and being here and putting up with me rabbiting on for the last 15 minutes of the stream because I didn't feel like jumping into Unreal. Um, <laughs> Snuffy Girl says, T6, I want to show you something and get a reaction. Okay. Show me. Um, you're going to show me pumpkin in a can. I can't believe that. Uh, yeah, so I do appreciate you guys hanging out with me and being here. I will wait for this uh, post by Sniper Girl before I sign off though for the day. So I've got to jump back into doing some more work for the Archbiz Studio after the stream and I've got to do more work on the game stuff. Henry Lust says, uh, I'd probably never try pumpkin. Oh, you should. Oh, man. This is looks, this looks like pumpkin. So hang on. She's posted in the Discord. Let me have a look. Copy link. Um, I'm going to check this out. You guys won't see it. But if you jump into the Discord, pumpkin 100%. Oh, that's, that's, just, um, that's just pumpkin that's been cooked and put in a can. Pure pumpkin. You know how you can buy tomatoes that have been diced or something or, or crushed? That's that's cooked pumpkin in a can. So, yeah, I mean, if, I, I wouldn't advise eating that sort of pumpkin. I don't know how much salt and stuff. They, they, probably quite a lot of salt in that tin pumpkin. I, I wouldn't uh, cook fresh pumpkin. That's what you want to do, not tin pumpkin. Oh, so Snappy Girl says that's all you can get there this, this time of year. Okay. Well, if it's all you can get and you really want pumpkin, fine. But I, um, I would not. Uh, they put lots of salt in those tinned foods, like lots of salt. Uh, so if you could avoid doing that, I, I would avoid it. I, I would always cook fresh pumpkin. It, it tastes much better. Yeah, and like I said, that's that's like tomatoes. You can buy tomatoes that have been peeled or crushed or diced tin tomatoes. So that's, so that's basically cooked pumpkin in a tin, like pureed probably. Yeah. So I take it back. You can get pumpkin in a can. I hadn't thought about that. You, we can put you, I think we, even in this country, you might be able to buy pumpkin like that as well in a tin. Um, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> enough talk of pumpkins. You guys and girls have a great weekend. Take care. Uh, I will see you all again on Monday next week where we will be jumping into the Unreal Engine, most probably. You haven't had canned vegetables in a while? Don't eat canned vegetables, people. Cook fresh vegetables. You only ever eat canned stuff if you have to. If you can't, buy fresh. Buy fresh. So much nicer. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys on Monday uh, next week. We'll, we'll jump into Unreal, probably. You guys and girls have a great weekend. And yeah, see you next week, guys. Bye.